my little windows all perfectly. Oh, okay. I didn't do that before I started streaming. I'm very skilled at this. My plan today is to do some side quests in antiquity. I'm sure my microphone is adequate. And try not to lean forward too much. I do that uh, far too much. I don't think she... No, she doesn't have the uh, side quest notification. Hey, have you noticed how the summit of Nadara Volcano is always covered in a weird black fog lately? I've been watching it a lot recently. I've got a bad feeling about it. Doesn't seem good. We're not gonna- <gasps> Kitty! I need to advance them. I need these cats. I need them to be my friends. For now, we'll do this one. Best friends. Jinta, a boy who lives in Rattle, has gone missing. Look for him and take him back home. Let's see what she has to say about it. It's been a long time since I did any of these side quests. Heavens, where has that boy run off to this time? Oh, take it easy. What's the matter? My son, Jinta, has disappeared. I've been searching all over, but he doesn't seem to be anywhere. You think he went outside the village? He must have. Honestly, I'm always warning him about the dinosaurs, but he never listens. Mmm, dinosaur. They're very cute. Okay, I'll go take a look for him. You should stay here in case he comes back while I'm away. Oh, thank you, my boy, my precious Jinta. Save him. Goodbye, lady. We'll go save your son. Quest accepted. Oh, I did. <laughs> I'm trying not to use any of my strong characters since in my original game I pretty much always had strong characters and I just uh, overpowered everything I had trouble with. <laughs> and it's been a long time since I could use four star characters. Well, three star characters. It's None of these people are great, except uh, I'm gonna use Tiramisu because uh, she makes fighting mobs really easy, and I'm very lazy. Uh, I find it kind of boring, actually. So she's here to make the mob fighting easier, and the back line will have bubbling in it. Chinta! He hasn't been gone long, and he's only a kid. Can't have gone very far beyond the village. I'm too far forward again. There he is! Aha! That's got to be our missing kid! Very slowly. Hey, is your name Jinta? Whoa, what? What the? Who the blazes are you, squire? Hey. Keep it down! You're gonna have dinosaurs after us if you yell like that. Who are you? My name's Aldo. Your mom asked me to come find you. Is he Aldo or Aldo? Never thought about that before. I've always just called him Aldo. Why do you leave the village without telling anyone? People are panicking, you know. Oops, now I've gone and done it. I didn't mean to tell- I did mean to tell mom, but I forgot. Is there any particular reason you're coming all the way out here? Let me grab my cat, I think she'll be happy. Sit with me. There you go. Plus. Um, kinda, but... You've got a lot of stuff with you, too. Huh, this smell? Are you carrying food? You have any idea how dangerous it is to wander around a place like this smelling like a free lunch? I I know, but come on, what's going on here? Dot dot dot. All right, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I'm not your mother. Let's get you home. Erg. Maybe I'll have better luck next time. I feel like we're not solving the problem. Mostly because I remember the quest now, but, uh... Oh, the plants are so pretty in the old plant. Sad there's, well... It's same sad there's not much reason to go there later, but I still go there a lot. Fish. Where art thou, mother? 
Pinta. Here she is. Oh, thank the stars. You're safe. Sorry to worry you, Mom. What a relief. I thought you'd be gobbled up by some marauding dinosaurs. I wouldn't get eaten that easy. Don't be so cocky, boy. A little morsel like you could get swallowed in one gulp. That's why you shouldn't go onto the Zold Plains all by yourself. What were you thinking? I... I can't say. Now you want to keep secrets from me, too. No dinner for you tonight. That's not fair. Feel like talking now? Erg. No, this is a secret I have to keep. Wicked child, I'm going to give you a spanking you won't soon forget. Wait, isn't that going a little too far? You got home safe. How about you just forgive and forget? I wish I could, but the lad needs discipline. Sure, but he's only a kid. Messing up and keeping secrets is practically his job. Kindly don't tell me how to raise my children. No, Jinta. Oh no, he ran away while you were arguing. He's gone, look what you've done now. Wow, I barely saw the little guy move. Where could he have gone this time? Kitty, kitty, careful. Such a problem, child. Let's all just stay calm, all right? I'll find him and bring him back again. You, you can't eat my cookie, cat. That's mine. He wouldn't keep running off like this unless he had a good reason. Maybe he's in the same place as before. Why are you so interested in this? It's not for you. Not for you, kitty. It's for me. Set it over here, Reed. Maybe you won't mess with it. Let's see. Back to the plains we go. Most efficient way to get there. Sparkle! I don't think I need to obsessively collect the sparkles, but I like them. And so I don't really recall ever needing the ones from here very much. The gruely ones, yeah, but not here. I have to go back and get the ones from, like, um, Magsham sometimes. Then again, you level up those weapons too, so it's not the same. Just as I thought, here he is again. What's so special about this spot? Huh? That's... A dinosaur! Hey kid, run for it! I'm sure that's actually a dragon, but, you know. Maybe it is a, just a winged dinosaur. Well, I was gonna say it's a winged dinosaur, but... I guess winged dinosaurs like that are basically dragons. Huh? You're that fellow from before. No, wait, you've got the wrong idea. Don't just stand there and move. No, this guy's okay. He doesn't attack people or anything. Seriously? Huh? Oh no, wait. Kra... He's really not attacking. See? He's not dangerous. He's just a baby and he knows I'm his friend too. What's all this about? I found him when I was out playing. The other young dinos had been picking on him. He was really hurt. He couldn't even catch his own food. I felt so sorry for him, I gave him something to eat, and here we are. He's probably imprinted on you like a baby chick following its mom. Have you thought about what you're going to do with him? He's gonna grow up real fast. He may even turn on you one day. He wouldn't do something like that. Are you sure? If he was starving and had need for days, humans might start looking pretty tasty to him. Cat crying. My cat needs out of my room. I'll let her out. Oh, the microphone was off. Oh, now they're stuck in my hair. Okay, kitty. My cat is extremely <laughs> keyboard. I know that. I know this can't last. I should return him to the wild, right? But he always follows me back. Even if I try to lose him or douse myself in some smell he doesn't like. 
taken a lot of work just to top him, stop him coming right into the village with me. Never heard of a dinosaur being this tame. Most of the ones you find around here are really savage. Okay, are you absolutely sure he's from around here? Ufru? What's this supposed to mean? Look at him. He does, doesn't he seem a little different to your average dino? Now that you mention it, he looks more like a tiny version of the dragons from the Nadara volcano. If he's a baby dragon, what's he doing all the way out here? But he is a dragon. Didn't remember that. Maybe he got separated from his parents. Does that mean he'll finally stop following me if we can get him to his family in the volcano? He seems totally out of his element here. That's probably part of the reason he sticks to you like glue. It's a possibility. That's all I can say right now. What do you think? You'd be a lot happier among your own kind, wouldn't you? Koo. Kuriru. Alright, we'll take him back to where he belongs. Get together, of course. Wish I could tell you to stay home, but I guess he'll only follow me if you are come if you come too, huh? Yep, apart from that, I've got him pretty well trained. Fine, you can come along for the ride. Let's head to the Nadara Volcano. Ooh, the volcano. There it is. Volcano. Off to the volcano we go. Oh, I love Rattle. It's very pretty. Nice too. Sparkle! Ooh, volcano's very pretty too. I like these rocks. And these glowy, glowy things. They're very cool too. Let's see if there's any any treasure to be found here. You're a fool to challenge me. Oh yeah, I changed your your ability plus. Everyone else can just do the regular attacks. Yay! Rovella, he's a low level. I miss using him in my uh, old game. I, he was my water damage for a long time. Which is probably very sad, uh, and, and also probably why it took me so long to be able to defeat, um, the- I don't remember what it's called in Unity. The Flame Eater. It took me forever to beat the Flame Eater, and I wasn't able to do it until I got mighty. I did have, um- no one could defeat a dragon summoner. But then I did have, uh, LeClaire as well. Nope, Sparkle. Give me that. That was- that was a bit difficult. Into a, oh, okay, yeah, this is where- <gasps> Snicka! I know what you're thinking. Yes, it is I. I will not harm you, but you may wish to visit a priest of your choosing and have yourself cleansed of any curses. Hmm? You don't know who I am? Well, this is a surprise. I get so few chances to introduce myself in my line of work. Those who have seen me fight refer to me as the Flower of Death. Let's not run into the massive horror dino. Well, it's not even a horror. Super boss, that's what it is. Dragon! Brace yourselves! I proceed here, who's, uh, MP is gonna be a bit of a problem, hey, but that's I fine. We'll work on that. <sighs> Wee hee hee, nothing like a refreshing drink after a hot bath. I've been looking forward to slurping down this mirth punch all week. This stuff has a real kick to it. Love him. Go this way? Not a regular horror is that Red Dawn. Forget which one is I think Red Dawn is one that's hard to forget too. Yeah, you're a regular. You're a regular dino horror. When I originally played, I made the very poor choice of grinding until I could beat these things. Uh, because I didn't- I, I, after, you know, you leave 
the present, then you leave the future. I was like, I don't know when I'll be able to get back to antiquity. Huh? And then I was over leveled. It was uh, unwise, really. Two treasure chests. Uh, I, I don't. I, I. I'm. I'm sad about being in the old days. Where oh, these are. These are gorgeous. Um. Like I like being able to defeat the horrors in any new area I go to because my characters are all max level. That's. That's nice. Oh, no, 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 no. I was careless. Brace yourselves. And we have to actually fight. I'm just gonna uh, auto attack them. This is okay. For my mistakes. I mean, he is like level 5, so. Probably should have seen that coming. Take that. You can hide anything from me. It's not really fine. He's not gonna get experience. And that makes me very sad. Why did I swap in a staff user? Two. Zero. Zero. Oh? I don't know how to make Do I switch you? Okay. Attack. In the blink of an eye! I don't know how to do switching with the keys. I think I just have to do it with the uh Thank house. You, for the help. you are careless. Should have put Terramasu in the back so she'd regen mana. Oh, that was a really bad decision. Oh great, as if monsters weren't enough to worry about, there's lava spurts here too. Better avoid stepping on the ground when it's heating up. If you never step on it, I guess maybe you never see that line? Resting. I mean, I, I kind of use those to get to 100 kills of um, those dog things that spawn because you can just guarantee they spawn. Wasn't a good way to do it because they don't drop anything. Eliminate but I did. The enemy. You need to go to the back line because you are almost dead. Now the mouse isn't working for some reason. Fine. Four, zero, six. Okay. You can't hide anything from me. At least I, I hope it's fine. The mouse isn't working. It's, it's probably not fine. It's probably bad. In the blink of an eye. I'm still not used to their voices. I don't normally listen to them at all. Much less. Medical support activated. I don't. I don't think I was going to start with that. Four. Oh, she has no odd. Please, three. A hammer slam. Stop using up all your mana. Oh, you underestimated my fist. If you did to death, Belmina. Tiny dragon. Ooh, I did that. Yo, dragon. This is your home. This should be far enough. Look at that huge footprint. It's the same shape as his feet. You're right, it was probably made by the same species of dragon. Looks like this is the place to release him, alright. Are you ready? Yeah, come here, little guy. Ooh, kuru This place is full of dragons like you, maybe even your parents. So, go and be with them. Ooh. He's not moving an inch. Go on, get out of here. I don't want you anymore. I'm not gonna feed you ever again. Ah, lean forward. Up there. Don't think he understands. Try something else. Look, boy, chow time. I was just fooling. Here, eat up. 
Mr. Aldo, now's our chance to sneak away. Right. This far enough, he's not gonna find us now, right? We don't know. He has a real sharp sense of smell. Um, yeah, he's kinda right there. Ooh, kururu. It's like we never even left. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. We're going to have to, you know, frighten him away. Are you sure? We don't like it, but it's the only way to get rid of him at this point. Plus, he may end up getting hunted by humans if he doesn't learn they can put up a fight. Hmm, alright. I have to be- I might have to be a little rough, but I'll try not to seriously hurt him. Sorry, little guy. This is for your own good. Smack the baby. Very sad. Cool. Poor dragon. That's right. Keep going. Can't stay with me. We're... We're not friends anymore. So go. Get away from me. Ooh. Why can't he understand talking? But the dragon with the mirth punch speaks English. I shouldn't think about this. I've never thought about it before and now it's confusing me. I'm sorry. That must have been hard, but you did a great job. He's gonna be fine thanks to you. Now it's time to get you back to where you belong. Your mom's probably worried. Right. Hey, can we stop by the Zol Plains on the way back? I'd like to visit the place I met him. Just one more time. Sure. A little detour won't hurt. It's like a massive detour. It's not on, it's not on the way back at all. But that is fine. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna be lazy. Isn't it working? That's not good. Work now? Uh, that's... that's bad. I guess I won't be using the map. We got this back up. Uh, nope, nope, nope. I don't know. Summoner's Ritual. There we go. Take that! I'm used to playing on mobile, so I'm very bad with the keys. I click things a lot. But for some reason, my clicking is acting up. So, I'll just not worry about it. Hope it fixes itself. I might restart the game. Do I need the map, though? Oh, it's one of my favorite kitties! Ferris! I, I think that's her name. I think it's her name. I don't remember. I, I do love that kid. I used to use her. Locked down and ready. Gosh. Ravella, you sound so strange. Huh? I wonder if he sounds any better in Japanese. Probably not. I find a lot of the characters English and Japanese voices don't match what I imagine they would sound like because I play without audio. I guess the characters I don't have would probably be fine. But I probably will just end up eventually getting them and then not listening to them either. Okay, yeah. We gotta restart. Because, uh... Can't, uh, talk to anyone! <laughs> I don't know why, but it is a little bit broken. Hopefully it'll be all better if I just restart. No idea what I did. Nope, it fixed itself. Come on. Here's <sighs> my It turns on faster on my computer than it does on my phone. Where am I 
the updates always takes far too long on my phone. It's fixed. People heal just about anything. Wanna take a rest? Yes, I do. Need my MP back. MP. HP and MP completely restored. On to the Zol Plains. So beautiful. We should go do whatever that quest is over there at some point. Uh, probably after I finish this one. Kitty. This is where I first found him. He could barely walk and he'd been hurt by the other dinosaurs. I wonder if he's found his family by now. Is he getting enough food? I hope he'll find a good mate someday. Live yourself a good life, little guy. We only knew each other a short time, but I had lots of fun with you. Huh? What the, the that cry? Shadows. Kid, look, he's right above us. Wow, no kidding. Learned how to fly after all. Hey, there's two of them. A big one and a small one. Cuckoo. Maybe the big one's his mom or dad. Isn't that great? He found them already. They're gone. Do you think he came back to say goodbye? Sure he did. I'll bet he understands why we had to do what we did now. I, I said that. Your feelings must have gotten through to him. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so anyway. You're my best. No, I can't show. Cat is there. Back, Mally. Oh, I can close the door. Quest complete. Oi. Did you get scared, Maui? Blah. Best friends completed. Yeah, he's probably still gonna get spanked by his mother. Just as the spirit said. I don't know why, but at first I thought it said just as the spirit salad. A young girl is staring into the marshes on the old plane. Seems to be troubled by something. Oh, great fairy, please forgive this foolish mortal. I wonder what that kid's doing. Hey, are you okay? Hello, what a happy coincidence. I dropped something into this spring a little while ago. Something very precious to me. I was just praying to the great fairy who inhabits the pool to forgive my mistake and return my possession. This is a fairy spring? Looks like a regular old pond to me. It doesn't look all that deep either. Can't you just wade in and fish out what you dropped? That wouldn't be right. I have to show the great fairy I'm sorry for disturbing the pool. 
Hey, great fairy, please help this foolish mortal. Voice echoes from the spring. Careless one who defiles my waters. You wish for what was lost? Make an offering of teardrop grass unto the spring. What was that? Don't tell me. The great fairy had heard my prayers after all. You heard it yourself, didn't you? Didn't you? Yeah, well, I heard a voice asking for teardrop grass anyway. Teardrop grass. How am I meant to get that? Teardrop grass grows on the far side of the Zol Plains. The plains are full of dinosaurs and other perils. I don't know if I can make that trip. If only I had some strapping young champion who could go in my stead. Hello, Grimthorpe. I didn't know if you'd come today at all because I figured you were busy, but nice to see you. Great fairy, please offer me guidance in my time of need. I'm just doing some side quests. Nothing terribly important. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Good sir, you look like you can handle yourself in combat, am I right? This lady dropped a thing in the pond and wants it back and also thinks there's a fairy in the pond? Must be at the will of the great fairy that guided you here to me. What? I see it all now. Our meeting here in this place was no accident. Fate is telling you to gather the teardrop grass for me to offer up. That's an interesting interpretation. Okay, fine. Teardrop gra grass, right? Thank you for being so understanding. Teardrop grass is a plant that grows on the old plain. Wait you here and continue wishing as hard as I can wish. I know when you found it. She is not very, not very useful. Leo, do you want to show, do you want to show people your pretty face? Come here, baby. Come here, let me see if I can get your pretty face in here. Oh. It is a Leo! Good fluffy Leo! He's purring. Ah, uh, he's heavy. I'm gonna set him down. Ah! Oh, Leo, why are you so heavy? He's a heavy, heavy boy. It's Leo. Yes, it is Leo. He's a handsome boy. Oh, oh I don't know why I keep trying to use M to open the map. That's not how it works. For some reason, there's no keyboard shortcuts for these. At least as far as I can tell. I had to restart the game because they weren't working. Um, so that was a little unfortunate. Oh wow, you can see the big red dino from down here. Exciting. I won't hold back. Seems mildly garbage. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna chalk it up to porting a touchscreen phone game to the PC. Oh, kitty! Oh, this is such a beautiful kitty! Oh! Adorable! I love it. If that's the path to Red Dawn, then is that just a different regular dinosaur on the other one? Sorry, I was I was thinking about the, the that big red dinosaur you can kind of see on the horizon is a, a super boss. Um, it's like level eighty, so uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be fighting it. I'm also trying to use more of my uh, garbagey. <laughs> That's insulting. Well, he can only go up to four stars. Ports tend to be treacherous, especially when it's not natively PC. Yeah, I, I imagine porting games that weren't designed for a system is kind of a pain. I guess that's why they sometimes design games for more than one system while they're making them. I assume that's a little less of a pain. Let's see if you can see Red Dawn. There it is. Red Dawn. I wonder how close I can get. There it is. I used to come and challenge it periodically. I couldn't beat it till I beat the main story of the game, though. Well, the the, the, the launch main story, because there's like several more chapters now. Uh, if you couldn't beat it until after beating those, that would be... really crazy. Just I didn't get. Money. Look at attack me. No. Uh, I'm not gonna fight it, because I will just get wiped. Immediately. <laughs> We have grass to deliver to that girl by the spring. 
Uh, we went we went to this volcano earlier. Helped a child take a dragon baby he found back to its family. Uh, that, that's pretty much what we did for like tw the first 25 minutes. Huh? Trying not to lean forward so much. We work on my posture. Going. Figure I'd just do the uh, side quests in Rethel. Yeah, there, there are Unity tools. I know where when you write code, you just click port to whatever, but that means you're stuck using Unity and constrained by the goodness of the tool. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know much about the the coding, so I can only I can only accept your word for that. <laughs> Excuse me. The pretty garbage for large endeavors. Yeah, I guess there's a reason that for large things they usually make their own thing. I don't know if engines are word. I think they usually make their own version of an engine, maybe. Oh, great fairy, please forgive this foolish mortal. Hey, I got you the teardrop grass. Wonderful, I knew the great fairy would not forsake me. Uh, yeah, sure, here you go. Bend it over the teardrop gas. I keep calling it teardrop gas. Teardrop grass. Yes, yes, this is the real thing, alright? Oh, great fairy, I offer you this tribute with a humble heart. Ha! Whoa, I'm pretty sure you don't have to hurl it in like that. Voice echoes from the spring. Young maiden, I receive your tribute with a gladsome heart. If you wish for what was lost, make an offering of two kimomo nuts unto the spring. Kind of materialistic for a fairy. Great fairy, thank you for guiding this lost lamb towards salvation. Spectacular benevolence, I will gladly undertake this new trial. By which she means she will send us to do it. He knows. Aldo knows. Oh, what am I to do? Kimomo nuts grow all the way on the far side of the old Plains. I don't know if I can make such a journey myself. If only there were some strapping young champion who could go in my stead. That's what she said last time, too. Well, I need to head home. Good luck with everything. <laughs> Trying to escape. What's this? Surely you don't mean to flee from this challenge with your tail between your legs. Do you intend to abandon a weak, defenseless maiden to her cruel fate? How heartless this world can be. Okay, I get the message. I'll go for you. What am I looking for this time? Kamomo nuts, right? Abandon the maiden. <laughs> uh, that would be fun. Yes, it's a nut that can be found on the Zol Plains. Great Fairy's blessings be upon you. I'll await you here and continue wishing as hard as I can wish. Let me know when you've found what we need. I'm pretty sure I get to fight the Great Fairy, because it's uh, not a fairy. I don't remember because it's kind of been like two years since I played this. <laughs> I love this cat so much. Suppressing and enemy. Disappeared so we could do combat. Take that. Oh, I am using her because it makes fighting the mobs Nothing so much less. easier when she just wipes no everyone. Perfection. I'm I'm putting other strong characters in the back to level them, so I'll have them if I need them. Dancing grass. I do not like that this thing looks like an eyeball. It makes me very uncomfortable. Got a kimono nut. Pretty much every quest has a formula where you do some stuff and you do some stuff and then you fight a thing. And then you and then you wrap up the quest. Seems smart. Thank you. Uh, hey, I really need to advance the story some more because I want I want to collect the kitties, because later you can trade out this kitty, Varuo, you can you can pick up other cats you find. I was just standing there and I got attacked. <laughs> anyway, you can you can pick up most of the cats in the world and the, have them travel with no you. Only one at a time, unfortunately. Summoner. Can't I can't have the cat army of my dreams. But uh, it's still fun, dude. Which of which cat you have? Because there's so many cute ones. Oh, merciful traveler, my prayers have been answered. You did not forsake me after all. Uh, yeah. Anyway, here you go. Ah. Oh. Cats are running around. Hand it over to Kamomonas. 
Yes, yes, these are the real thing, all right. Oh, great fairy, I offer you this tribute with a humble heart. Yep. Ah, she's chucking it in the spring. Girl throws the nuts into the spring. A voice echoes from the spring. I don't know how to... Young maiden, I receive your tribute with a gladsome heart. I want now. You wish for what was lost, make an offering of yourself and become my bride. Ah. Great fairy, you wish to wed me? I'm not sure I understand. What's there to understand? Step into the waters and make your vows, girly. He he he. What a creepy laugh. Hey, don't you think there's something weird about this? Do not sully this sacred ritual with your disrespectful words. Great fairy, I hear and understand. Let us be joined in wedlock. Place myself entirely at your mercy. Not at all suspicious. Indeed. Uh, it's very suspicious. <laughs> Whatever it is you dropped, it can't be worth these extreme measures. Ask yourself, would a real fairy make these kinds of demands? I mean, the only fairies I've encountered in another Eden were all hostile and I had to kill them, so... I don't think fairies are good. Don't let it push you around anymore. Hey, butt out, buddy. This is none of your business. Now come to me, my sweet. Finally, showing your true colors, huh? Quit hiding and show yourself, you coward. Coward, me, I can stomach a lot of abuse, but I won't tolerate anyone questioning my valor. Rah, you've done it now, kid. I'm gonna tear you apart. Monster leaps out of the spring. Pew. Eliminate the enemy. It's a colus! So, uh, I mean, there's two of them, which is not what it said, but... Take that! I will accept it. <gasps> It's a strong enemy! She can't one-shot it! With her weakest version of this skill at, like, level 12. <laughs> Gonna get a lot stronger. Hostiles eliminated. Ooh, we killed the spring fairy. Dead. Oh, it's not dead. You never tell. Curse you, I was so close to making this maiden my own. Growler. Oh, wait, maybe he is dead. Great fairy! Open your eyes, that was no fairy, just a plain old monster. Huzzah, death to the fairies. <laughs> it lied to you, it's been using you all this time. Can this be? How could I be so foolish? At least you can see the truth now. Huh? What's that? Don't tell me this is what you've been trying to get back. That's... Yes, that's the hair clip I dropped in the spring. Kind traveler, if you have this, that can only mean one thing. Huh? You were the real great fairy all along. I knew it. I could tell the first time we met there was something different about you. Oh, my heart feels fit to burst. I must go and prepare a suitable offering. Wait, let's talk about this. She didn't listen. What a surprise. We got her stuff back and we beat the monster, so all's well that ends well. Better get out of here in case she really does come back with some kind of offering. I think she just really wants to believe in a fairy. Whee! Two quests down. I think there's two more side quests in Raffle. If there's any more on the Zolt Plains. That was the only one. Yeah, that was the only one on the Zolt Plains. And now we got these two in Rath. Oh, I should also go in the buildings. Oh, this is a house. Be that way sometimes. Look at this man's fancy outfit. So oh, fancy. I'm gonna steal his stuff. Last time, someone said there was a future. Maybe it was a present. These houses? Don't remember it. Right. The elements are getting uneasy because Salamander is getting out of hand. Maybe why monsters are appearing in the Vasu Mountains. Hi, are you the travelers that varon has been yapping on about? Who? Who's Varon? We've got a problem. Ever since the elementals got so unstable, monsters around here have been going well. Oh, that's probably the kid I ran into. 
I think perhaps Salamander's rampage disturbed some kind of primeval balance. Basu Mountain is the worst of all. There have been sightings of never-before-seen monster species there. I have a theory that the situation can be remedied if we restore the balance of elemental energies. That's where you come in. See this powder? It's a little something I developed. If you can scatter it around the mountains, it should stabilize the elements over there. That's the magic powder. Thank you. Be careful out there. We're not entirely sure what these new monsters are capable of. A stick Exciting music makes me excited about accepting the quest. Yay! Snort the powder? I don't think I'm allowed to snort the powder. As Skyrim taught me, you cannot eat quest items. Oh, it's another pot. Dinosaur horn. Oh, it's the statue! I'm not gonna touch this. I'm gonna leave that alone. Because if I talk to that guy, it'll turn into a statue of Aldo, and I want to know what happens if you never do that. Because that statue is um, in his hometown. The future. Just buy my materials, please. Thank you. We'll come back later. I, I think uh, buying stuff and leveling up character abilities. So I did that before. Well, I, I leveled up my characters and made sure their abilities were all good before I started. Why well, make people sit through just click -cl clicking? I hate how slow I do. This is why I specifically only ever rest at this one spot where it doesn't do this. <laughs> how kind of slow? It's not this slow. <gasps> Can I go back there? I just want to steal all your belongings, like in any RPG. Oh, we're not allowed to go this way yet. You heading to Actuel? Actuel? Sorry, but the rains have raised the water level so high no one can get through. Gotta continue the story before we go that way. It's the inn, or the tavern, sorry, the inn is the inn. Oh, tavern keeper. Guy in tavern. I don't know why he's called Guy in tavern, he's clearly the guy who runs it. There have been strange goings on lately, from the castle to the mountains. All rumors, of course. If you're heading for the volcano, it's beyond the Vasu Mountains. Incidentally, the palace has passed Lake Tilen. Tilen? I always called it Tilen, but I think it's Tilen. That's the main quest. We're not doing that right now. <gasps> Sparkle. This is an old lady. Have you noticed something strange going on with Salamander lately? The power of fire has gotten unstable. However, I have never heard of the power of the Great Elementals doing this. So we're gonna try and fix it. Because that's what we do. Trying to get back to the past. Aw, she has no belongings to steal. I feel like I'm being watched. Be a secret admirer at my age? I have no idea. Heard they've built a new tower at the palace. Ever since that oracle with strange powers showed up, they've been planning something. Well, I guess it doesn't really have anything to do with us normal folk. That's why we're mentioning it in this dialogue in the game, because it's completely un- Flower Girl, Volume 13. Uh, items. So, where does- I think the Flower Girl is a key item. I got that from a kid somewhere. I'm holding food from the future. <laughs> Flower Girl Volume 13. Volume 13 of the Flower Girl Tale. In a forest in midwinter, a sick girl is worried she won't make it. Her mother holds her. See a, a silver field, a silver world without fear. Mist fades to reveal only a flower girl next to the crying mother. Food heals, right? Yeah. Yeah, food heals your, um... Heals you and gives you back your MP. So it's useful when you're out in the field. Ever since you came back, Jinta seems different. A little more mature. They grow up so fast. Oh, this is the kid we helped return the dinosaur. Or the dragon to its family. Ah, Aldo. Sometimes I still hear its voice. It always cheers me up. I think I already stole their stuff. Is it really stealing, though, if they watched me take it and didn't do anything about it? Oh, a traveler. Don't look like you're from around here. You must have traveled a great distance. We're only a small village, but do enjoy your stay. 
Do you have items? Why do they store items in... Why would you store a beast tail in a pot? This is this is a mystery beyond my comfort. Okay, now we gotta go spread the magic powder. As you do. Ah. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm doing it. I, one. I like these glowing rocks a lot, and whatever these are, they're purple. You just need to put this stuff at the foot of the mountain, right? This spot looks good enough. Let's get scattering. Scattered the magic powder. This is all it takes to fix the elemental imbalances. Seems a little too good to be true. Oh well, better head back and... I'm sure we're going to get attacked by dinos. Yes. Yes, we are. Whoa, what the heck was that gnarly sound? Never heard anything like it before, but it sure sounded dangerous. Could it be one of those new monster species? I can't just walk away. What if it tries to attack the village? That is like it's already pretty close by. We'd better go see what was making that racket before we leave. I think it came from the mountains. I'll have to climb up a little farther. Kitty, please stop fussing. Can't go out right now. I'm sorry. I'll let you out in a little bit. Sparkly. Roar came from somewhere around here. And some kind of flowery cactus thing. There it goes again. Rawr. I guess I don't need to read it. It actually plays the sound. There it is again. Must be right around the corner. Ooh, look at it. It's so fiery and cool. Whoa, this monster's got an aura of malice. It looks real strong to boot. What's going on here? Bra, cra. Something's not right. Did the elemental imbalance make this monster mutate? It's friendly. <laughs> That'd be nice, but uh, somehow I imagine not. Rattle's not safe while something like this is stomping around free. Bring it on. I don't think it understands you all, though. I don't think Aldo can do very much. There's a most fire based. Yeah. Holy race with the Hawkeye. Yen, dual thrust. Holy race with the Hawkeye. Oh, the dragon went away. I need to come back. Summoner's ritual again. Bring back the dragon. Probably should have just done that two turns in a row. Perfection. Why he sounds so weird. Probably just because I never heard his voice before. Rah. Still not going down. No, it's doing blow. It's gonna explode. Oh, monster draws an energy from its surroundings. What are we supposed to do now? How much can it possibly absorb? Monster fleas. GG, easy. <laughs> It absorbed ray energy and then it ran away. We got away. We're going to be in a whole heap of trouble if it takes in any more energy. Probably still catch it before it goes too far. Up the mountain we go! To chase down that... I don't know what it was, because I don't think that was a dinosaur. Found it. It's using the power of the elements to heal its wounds. Monster draws in energy from its surroundings. Hey, stop that. You have no idea what you're messing with. Monster sounds. It sounds like it's in pain. All that energy is more than its body can withstand. This is gonna get worse before it gets better. Can't let it escape again. This time we'll put it out of its misery once and for all. As you do, I guess. Oh yeah, it's a dragon. Don't know why I couldn't remember that. That's a little sad. Take that. 
Pain's hand was funny. You to attack mode. Oh, hey, you stunned me. Nice. Just broke my face. Did you see my graceful moves? This should sound like that. I feel like they gave a lot of the antiquity characters like an accent that I don't really understand why they did it in their English voices at least. Maybe they have an accent for their Japanese ones and they were like we gotta we gotta find some kind of thing to make it seem similar in the English. Ew, that was some kind of workout. Finally beat it. Can't believe all this elemental instability could create something like that. Let's just hope that magic powder does it what it's supposed to. That alchemist back in Rattle is probably going to want to hear about this. In fast travel! Whenever the map opens. Yeah, it'll happen eventually. The game doesn't crash. <laughs> Yay, it didn't crash. Alchemist. Oh, that was a short rest. I guess because we had to do two fights. Ah, you're back. I heard a terrible cry coming from the mountains. Is everything okay? Yeah, we made it through somehow. The monster absorbed a whole lot of energy and went on a rampage. The monster capable of that was right here on our doorstep? Don't worry, we took care of it. It's no danger to you anymore. Pretty sure the disrupted elementals or elements are what made it so crazy and strong, though. Might be a good idea to keep track of those energies so they don't fall out of balance again. Indeed, if this is what they can do with the power of the elements, they're even more powerful than I thought. Well, I scattered that powder like you told me, so we should be okay for now. Thank you. That should be more than enough to ensure the village's safety. Can't guarantee it will last thousands of years, but that's the nature of the beast. Hopefully, humanity will have come up with some new solution by then. Ah, yeah, here's hoping. That's one problem solved. I wish I could be sure the same thing won't happen again. Well, this time period's safe. That's good enough for me, I think. Quest complete! Ooh, chrono stones. Black coal. Glass scrolls. Dance and grass. I keep being like, oh, I like low class scrolls. Those aren't worth much. And then I realize that all my characters are massively low level. <laughs> it's... It's, uh different being back. What's this? We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna be done. There's a suspicious looking person outside the house in Rattle. There's something strange about him. The house? It probably should say a house. There's there's more than one house in Rattle. Oh, be still my heart. Hetos looks as lovely to, as ever today. You're a noob again? Yes, I'm a noob. I mean, I was never very good, but I had high level characters that were strong, so that was pretty good. Hey, what are you doing sneaking around? Ah, don't scare me like That was a pretty telling reaction. Whoever you are, I have a feeling you're up to no good. Don't be absurd. What gives you the right to judge me? Who are you anyway? Wait, don't tell me you are Heta's boyfriend, lover, husband? What? No, I don't even know who you're talking about. I was just passing through. Stop putting my mouse cursor on people's faces. Passing through? Some random traveler dares to stand in the way of my passion? Hey, take it easy. What did you expect? You look kind of shady lurking back here. Lurking? Me? Just wanted to give a present to the lady who lives here. The wonderful, radiant Heta. Oh, that's probably the lady who said she feels like someone's watching her. Oh, I get it. You've got a crush on this Heta person, right? Crush? Such words fall lamentably short of doing justice to my feelings. They are an insult to me. She is my everything. Worship the very ground she walks upon. Okay, sorry. Good luck with that. Yeah, sneak on out of there, Aldo. Before you have to do another fetch quest. Wait. What is it? I, that is, could you do me a little favor? Huh? You're not going to ask me to give her a pre the present in your place, are you? Nothing like that. To tell you the truth, I haven't actually found a gift for her. What? I've, 
just been having trouble thinking of the right thing to give her. What could a woman like her desire? I've been observing her for a while now, but I'm still no nearer the truth. I think that's called stalking. Please, I beg of you, couldn't you find out what kind of thing she'd like in my stead? I'll never ask you for anything again. That is, terribly untrue. Heard that one before. Yes, you have. It's the truth, I swear. All right, fine. I guess it won't hurt just to ask. Comrade, I knew I could count on you. Don't push it, buddy. Ah, Heta, we go. Hello, Heta. Hmm, is there anything I desire? It's been a few years since anyone asked me that. In my younger days, I had lots of admirers bringing me gifts. I always told them what I wanted was... What, what I always... I always told them what I wanted most was vermeralds. Such a pretty stone. I wonder if I'll ever have one of my own. Why, why has it got weird name? Vermerald. Vemeralds? Vermeralds? It's like an emerald, but vermer. Yes, I've heard of them. They're beautiful gemstones with a deep red hue. Why? That's what my- that's- it's what my beloved Heta wants? Where am I supposed to get something like that around here? What a predicament. Perhaps I'll have to think of an alternative. No, wait a moment. I think my old grandpappy once said the laughing mandrakes on these old plains sometimes contain red stones. The path is clear. We must scour the plains and get ourselves some treasure. Laughing mandrakes are those large orange flowers, by the by. Off he goes. Hello. Goodbye. Have a good day, sir. I must go to those old plains in search of... Precious gems. Also try to avoid getting eaten by that dinosaur. Because it's probably level 30. And I am but a mere... Uh, I gotta check what level I am, actually. Here, but a mere level 13-ish. Max. Now, uh, let's give her all the scrolls we got. Because if she goes up levels, it'll up her, uh... Not that many. Let's not do that. Let's just give her these. That'll up her, um, spirit. She deals down spirit she has. I'm gonna see if I can give her any, uh, her spirit. That's good. Knock. Knock. Ooh, a skill! These pads has spirit on it. I'm doing that. I'm being attacked by... I was gonna say dinosaurs, but it could be wasps. Eliminate the enemy. It's dinosaurs. Uh, such, have to keep such wonderfulness. Dinosaur humorous. Look inside of the laughing mandrake. No sign of a red gem here. Like how... Devil here. I guess that's the uh, blue purple mom people were talking about. You look inside the laughing mantric, there's a red gem in there. Try to remove it. Reach a hand you reach a hand inside but are firmly rebuffed. Gem is really a monster's eye. Monster attacks. So it's just sitting there staring and I'm trying to pull its eye out. That's concerning. Oh no, they're quest enemies. They're slightly stronger. And now they're Let's dead. Keep it up. All is well. Yeah. There he is. Aha, uh -huh. I didn't sign up for fighting this many monsters. I guess Grandpappy mistook the eye for a red gem just like we did. Dude, I'm totally worn out. I'm heading back to Rattle for a while. Thanks for your help. Quest complete. Extremely rude of you. I don't remember. It was extremely rude of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do something mean to my poor little characters. 
pulling the eye. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pulling on the monster's eye was very rude. And then I killed them. It was just all very uncalled for. Locked down and ready. These guys' little faces. They're so triangular. Take that! Feasting. Dinosaur. Here we go. I think I think we've done all the rattles. Wait, no. This, this guy has more than one part to his quest. I forgot about that. Laughing Mandarin. All right. So getting attacked before wasn't exactly what I'd planned. How was I to know there were monsters living inside the Laughing Mandarin? I've learned from my mistakes. After checking over my grandpappy's records, now I know for sure where to get that stone. Maybe he should have done that first. You haven't given up on that yet. Never. I'm surprised you even needed to ask. Now, about the red gems. According to my research, you can find them inside Laughing Mandrakes. Well, I'll see you around. <laughs> no, come back. It's for real this time. We just have to feed the mandrakes a special kind of fertilizer, and they'll produce the gems as a byproduct. Sounds plausible. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like the answer to this, but how exactly do we make this special fertilizer? Not to worry. Grandpappy wrote it down the recipe. We're going to need some small dinosaur eggs. Oh, well that shouldn't be a problem. Wait, did I hear you right? Dinosaur eggs? I'm not getting chased by some angry mama lizard. You beat the monster that popped out of the mandrake without breaking a sweat. How much worse could this be? One snicker-snacker of your sword and the job is done. No problem for a hero like you. I'll handle all the other ingredients, so you just have to concentrate on getting three eggs. Good luck. Why are you so rude? Erg, looks like I've gotten myself wrapped in up in something weird again. Let's get this over with. I can probably find the eggs out on this old plains. Back to the plains we go. It's probably a lot more efficient if you don't do the quests one by one, but I prefer to do that because otherwise I forget which quest I'm on when I'm doing things, and uh, I get them mixed up. Which, uh, is not ideal. Not to lean forward so much. But I have very poor posture. Uh, I guess I just need to fight dinos. To run back and forth and fight dinos. Brace yourselves. Those aren't dinos, those are flowers. Need to put Tiramisu to the back so she can regen some mana. Or MP, I mean. The, uh, characters on the back line heal and regenerate MP each turn. Not that much. Come on, punch that dinosaur down, Kalina. Or kick Nothing you. less yeah. than perfection. Why do you sound like that? Black cool. Be careful, there's a dino at this end that I don't want to run into. Because I cannot defeat it. Get on your knees and surrender! Summoner's ritual! That's not no an answer, one can right. defeat a dragon summoner. Doing this right. I hope I'm doing this right. <gasps> Kitty. I think perhaps the worst part of this game is that I don't believe you can, can pet the cats. There's there's no way to pet them. Why would you put cute You're cats the everywhere and then not let me. anyone pet them? It's just cruelty. Please be a dino egg. Perfection. Not a dino egg. I guess I can look at my quests. I think I'm just in progress. Eight raptors. Yep, I just gotta kill raptors. So I just gotta run back and forth here until I kill raptors that drop eggs. Very exciting. Lockdown and you guys aren't even dinosaurs. So that's disappointing. You can't hide anything from me. You can't drop dino eggs because you're not dinos. Exterminate. 
I really don't like the faces on these flowers. Everything is for the divine. Defeated 20 hornets now? That's something. Not all that useful for me at this moment, but it is something. Raptors! Please drop eggs. <gasps> they did! They dropped eggs. Nothing now I only need one more. The perfection. One more! This this is the very boring kind of thing that normally you don't usually have to do for quests. Once in a while you do. I mean, I obsessively ran around here and killed a hundred of each of these guys before I even moved on to Lake Tillin, which was a terrible life choice. But not this time, obviously. I'd be a lot higher than level 14 if I did that. There we go. Now we can return to Mido. Go. I don't know. Whatever his name is, we can return to him. Got the ingredient for his fertilizer. Probably stop lurking outside your house. Wow, you actually made it back alive. Happy so I'm so excited. Uh, I mean, I knew you would. Great, you got the small dinosaur eggs too. Let's find ourselves a laughing mandrake to test the fertilizer on. Back to the Zolt. Ooh. Merkle respawn. They respawn every hour, half hour. I don't. I don't remember. Man. Same one where we fought the man. Attacked. Hasta forces detected. Let's just snack everything and then eat our food so that we'll have mana for the fight. That that might be helpful. Target acquired. I really don't find these early fights all that interesting because it's mostly just poke things until they die. All right. Take ten, everyone. Now I should uh, I should switch Suzette into my back line. Actually, I want her to get exposed. For over Felmina, I guess both wind characters. Yeah, there's four elements. Um, characters are either fire, pokey poke. There's either they're fire, wind, earth, and water. Earth is good against water, water is good against fire, fire is good against wind, and wind is earth. There's some other things too, but that's that's the main thing. There's some characters that, while they technically have an element because of their resistances, uh, they don't have any elemental skills. Mostly healers. Support characters. This mandrake looks as good as any. Pass me a dinosaur egg, carefully. We only needed one. Why did I need three? Break the shell and... Ah! What the? Mad! Told you this wasn't going to end well, now we've got a full-grown dino after us. Comrade, it's time for you to make use of that fantastic strength of yours. Defense justice forthwith. I don't think it's justice when a wild animal is attacking you because you stole its eggs. Whatever you say, Your Majesty, I guess I've got no choice now. Brace yourselves. Oh, I forgot to use it. It's fine, we'll just bring Suzette to the front line. Not that she's all that good. No, that's not justice at all. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, tragically, I think Suzette is much better when you get her, uh, manifest, which I'm nowhere near getting. <laughs> and it was very hard for me to beat it the first time, but then again, I do have... Pride comes before that, that was an older thing back in the day, so it's probably easier now with newer characters. So. Unfortunately, the only zone I have, have access to is Earth. No, I can get, I can get fire, that'd be fine. I may have won. I feel kind of like a heel for doing it. At least Aldo understands. 
They're all ready. I took the liberty of preparing the fertilizer while you were fighting. Gee, thanks. You never thought of maybe helping me out in battle? We should have ourselves a shining new gem by this time tomorrow. Nothing to do now but wait. With recognition for your help, I'll gladly pay your board for the night. Come meet me at the inn and rattle when you're ready. This guy is a massive pain. But I do need to go to the end to heal him. Couldn't use the map, but... Dang it! I'm being attacked right on the path to town! That's very depressing. I was so close! But she had regenerated enough MP, so it was fine. Uh... Take the rest. Da, 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 da. HP and MP completely restored. There you are. Ah, there you are. I've already settled the bill for tonight. See you bright and early tomorrow morning. You and your allies go to sleep for the night. Next day. Morning. Man, I slept like a log. Let's go check the laughing mandrake we treated yesterday. Oh, thank goodness I didn't have to walk all the way back. A miracle. This was the one, right? Now, if you'd do the honors. You want me to put my hand in there? Doesn't want to poke on the monster eye again. Of course, we don't want a repeat of last time. So it's okay if I get attacked. Fine, let's take a look. Look inside the Laughing Mandrake. There's a red gem in here. Better remove it. Carefully reach out a hand and slowly remove the stone. Got a red gem? Mark. Magnifico. It's just as Grandpappy's journal described it. It's like in Swooter when you don't have to run across the map. <laughs> it's exactly like that, really. Right down to the enemies that you can't avoid. Hurry, hurry, give it to me. Ido took the red gem from you. Even I didn't think it would go as smoothly as this. No time to waste, I've got to present this to Hedda. Hey, wait. Aw, oh, do we have to walk back? That thing was red alright, but the texture and smell didn't seem very gem-like. Better follow him and see how this all plays out. Don't know if he's a very bright young man. That's okay. very enthusiastic. Very rude because he keeps making us help him. We have other things to do like trying to get back to our own timeline. Why hello Mido, I wasn't expecting you. Something wrong? I? Well in a way yes, but it's more like... Hey, don't chicken out now. Don't rush me. I'm about to give it to her. Give me what? Hedda, I got this. I got you this. It's a gift that represents my heartfelt feelings for you. This is. Oh my, an ogo fruit. My favorite. Huh? The fruit? You certainly know me well. I'm just not myself if I don't get at least one of these a day. They'd run out at the local store today, too. You're a lifesaver. Run out? You mean I could have just bought one? Of course. Haven't you ever heard of these, Mido? They're so full of nutrients, they're often called the King of Fruits, or even Red Gems. King of Fruits, huh? Wait, Red Gems? Not that I'm not grateful for the gift, but are you trying to butter me up for something? Ah ha ha, not exactly. I mean, it's nothing, really. One little piece of fruit is hardly a fitting symbol of my love. What was that? Oh, nothing. Forget I said anything. Thought it felt a little too soft to be a real gemstone. Ha ah, ha ha. Maybe I'll have better luck next time. Who's? Mido seems like he's got something on his mind. Do you know what's up with him? Nope. No idea. 
Solved the mystery of the laughing mandrakes, at least. Am I to ever find a real Vermerald? Verm His adventure continues. Quest complete! I don't know my other. I got some ruby fragments. Ido seems like he's got something on his mind. Changed her dialogue! Exciting! That was all the side quests in uh, Rattle, so we are uh, done for the day. That was uh, all I planned to accomplish today. Took a bit longer than I expected, actually. Um, thank you for coming, Grimthorpe. Uh, 101. Can't, can't forget your whole name. Uh, goodbye then! <laughs>